and we are back with another app review for iOS. Introduce coding to your very young learners today. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. The app we're looking at today is called Coda Pillar. It was designed and created by Fisher Price. And let me just start off by saying it is colorful, free, without in-app purchases, and there are absolutely no advertisements. So all I can say is a wonderful app to use in class or at home with your very own children. As soon as the app opens, we are greeted by a very lovely, happy little caterpillar full of color. Young learners are going to immediately fall in love with him. Forward. Can you build me a path? Drag the commands to the correct spots along the path. Then tap the target. As you can hear, every new command is introduced by our little caterpillar. Forward. It is inviting. The instructions are very straightforward. And every time a tile has been laid down, it will automatically turn to make it visually appealing to your young learners. As we progress through the levels, you will see that the orientation changes. And again, this repetition reinforces basic commands. Each level introduces a new command and these are reinforced over and over again. Every level has about four different problems that need solving. And at the end of these problems, you are presented with a little mini game. I'm hungry for the group of five. As you can see, these mini games invite your child or student to count. Now, the counting starts with one to five. You need to find up to five leaves. And as you progress through the levels, this goes up to 10. And then afterwards, they are asked to recognize words and numerals alongside each other. Another great way to reinforce that number recognition. Try a different one. Two. Wonderful. <laughs> Excuse me. You and me too. I'm hungry for the group of four. Now let's have a look at level seven and just get a feel of what the levels about in the middle of the game look like. Now once you've entered level 7, you will see there are a lot more commands available. We have forward statements, we have turn left, turn right, and there is now a swim statement that's being introduced. There's a couple of special statements in Codapillar. We have a swim statement, there is a climb statement, there is also a dig statement. Now these statements will make the game a lot more engaging and the children will love watching the caterpillar swim through their lake. And we did it. We successfully arrived at our target. Now let's have a look at a much harder level. Now here we can see a level where we have to swim. And then there is an option for us to choose which way to go. Now we can take the long way round or we can choose to take the shortcut and simply swim. This allows your child to make decisions. And again, there is no one way to solve this. You can discuss this afterwards. Why? your child has chosen the short or long way round. Now let's have a look at the menu. We're going to go back to the main menu. And as I told you before, there are no advertisements. It is possible for you to turn off the home button, turn off the sound and turn off the back music. So to summarize, a wonderful app to use both in class and at home. It is completely free of charge and if you want to try it today, you can find a link in the description below. And once you've played around with it, please let me know in the comment section what you thought. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.